allemaal even hier komen, dan kan ik even een naak trekken. Canada, ja. Engeland, check. Japan, check. Oostenrijk, en Italië. Italië, hallo Italië. Ita ah, en Italië, die zijn er ook. Raakt al helemaal in paniek. Uh, Roger, wat mij betreft zijn we klaar. Italië is er ook. Begin maar. Wat dacht ik dat ze er nu waren? There's so much that we share that it's time we were aware. It's a small world after all. It's a world of What are all these people doing here? Ah, I don't know, boss. I'll ask. Uh, miss? Ah, it's the Danny Kay International Children's Awards! gentlemen, Audrey Hepburn. Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, dear, dear children, welcome to the third Danike International Children's Awards. This unique annual television event comes to you from the Glittering Rye Congress Center in Amsterdam. This program is broadcast to dozens of countries on every continent, from Japan to Yugoslavia, from Canada to Australia. We almost have the United Nations here, with children from 12 nations. And I'm sure we share their view, which you heard so beautifully expressed in our first number tonight, that it's a small world after all. Thank you, children. Yay! And now and now, let me introduce to you a man who's made an art of surviving the most incredible situations. I'm happy and proud and grateful that he's here to help UNICEF against the fight of disease, illiteracy, and despair. A real saint, Mr. Roger Moore.
Thank you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. And, and thank you, Audrey. Thank you for being here. It is a pleasure indeed to share a stage with you. Finally. <laughs> Finally. Tonight, children have come to support UNICEF. Every one of them is already a winner in his or her own country. The entries in the competition will be judged by a panel of children from all parts of the world. Europe, Africa, Asia, the Americas, and Oceania. And they are joined by very talented children from Dance Point in Rotterdam and the Ballet Jeunesse in Belgium, some of whom you already have seen in the opening song. I know that each of the young performers here tonight would like to perform like Danny Kaye. <laughs> I did, I still would. I must have seen, I suppose, every film that Danny made at least three times, plus his marvelous shows at the London Palladium. Oh, they were wonderful. Fortunately, we still can enjoy Danny's work and remember him through the miracle of film. Our first film clip shows Danny in action as UNICEF's ambassador at large for the world's children. In an atomic world where one out of every three children go to bed hungry, where 500 million kids suffer from malaria or trachoma or yaws disease, where UNICEF supplies a quart of milk for less than a cent a day and a shot of penicillin for five cents, Danny Kaye, professional entertainer, one part Pied Piper, one part traveling ambassador, and one part Sir Lancelot, travels the world as the official ambassador for UNICEF. The question is asked, how does Kaye beat the language barrier? How does a fellow who speaks only one language communicate in a world of more than 2,500 basic languages? The answer is that K ignores the language barrier and communicates with anything he can put his hands on. On one occasion, for example, an empty teacup. And in a clinic north of Rome, he communicated with his head. In Spain, he did it with his feet. Sometimes with his feet, sometimes with his head, but always with his heart. Come, come, come on, sweetheart. Come on, baby. In Tel Aviv, he did conduct the Israeli ceremony. It was a benefit for UNICEF. When UNICEF began in 1946, Italy, along with most of war-devastated Europe, was among the first countries to receive its help. Today, the children of Italy are helping UNICEF. This year's first performers are two very talented singers from Italy, Bologna, to be precise, where they have been singing for seven years with the famous Piccolo Coro dell'Antoniano. Their names, as lovely as the song they have for you, Mandolini al Chiaro di Luna, Lisa Gambarini and Marilena Giselli. Monsieur Julien, que pensez-vous de ce spectacle merveilleux? Magnifique, Roger, magnifique. Comme vous le savez, les enfants sont notre avenir, notre espoir. Les enfants rêvent, les enfants jouent spontanément et nous rions avec eux. Alors, voulez-vous bien présenter la France pour nous? Oui. Maintenant? Oui. Tout de suite? Oui. Immédiatement. Voilà. Alors. Oui, 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 oui. De Saint-Etienne, France, Cécile Vialon, elle va chanter et parler justement d'un rêve que les enfants adorent. Ses poupées se réveillent et elles dansent pendant qu'elles chantent. Chaque enfant a le droit de rêver 
et nous avec elle, Cécile Vaillant et le grenier à jouets.